Hey guys, ZZ Coasters here. When many people think about roller coasters, they may think of them as dangerous or unsafe. However, I'm here to tell you that this is not the case. Roller coasters have many safety mechanisms in place to keep riders safe, and today I'm going to discuss why roller coasters are safe for everyone. Let's get right into the video. Today, we're going to be going over two different safety systems that help keep you safe on roller coasters. The first safety system that we're going to talk about are restraints. Restraint systems are the systems that help keep you inside the roller coaster. There are two main types of restraints on roller coasters. These types are lap bar restraints and over the shoulder restraints. Lap bars are bars that are traditionally attached to the floor of the car or the back of the car in front of you and come down onto your lap. Over the shoulder restraints are restraints that go over your shoulders from above you and keep you in from the top of your body. Lap bars and over the shoulder restraints use two methods of keeping you safe, ratcheting mechanisms and hydraulic mechanisms. On ratcheting mechanism lap bars and over the shoulder restraints, there is a rack and pinion with one on each side of the lap bar so that if one were to fail, the other will take over. When the restraint is engaged, the pinion will move forward to engage with the rack. The pinion's pins are set so the restraint can go down, but once it goes down a click, it cannot go back up again. This keeps you safe throughout the ride as when your restraint is pushed down before the ride, it can't go back up until when you get back to the station, there is a special mechanism on the track that presses a button under the train. This button releases the rack and pinion, your restraint goes up, and you can get off the coaster. The other mechanism is a hydraulic mechanism. In a hydraulic mechanism, the restraint is connected with a piston to a cylinder full of hydraulic fluid. There are tubes with a special valve called the check valve that allows hydraulic fluid to only flow from the bottom to the top of the cylinder and not the other way. When you pull down the restraint, it uses the piston to push hydraulic fluid from the bottom to the top of the cylinder, gathering behind the piston. Because the valve stops the fluid from going back to the bottom, the restraint cannot move up due to the pressure from the hydraulic fluid. In addition to the check valve, there is also a spool valve that goes from the bottom to the top of the cylinder. Hydraulic fluid can flow both ways through a spool valve, and it can be turned on and off by electromagnet. It is off by default, and when the coaster returns to the station, mechanisms on the track power the spool valve, so hydraulic fluid flows into the bottom of the cylinder and releases your restraint. In coaster history, lap bars were only used for coasters that did not go upside down. Inverting coasters required over-the-shoulder restraints because of regulations. In order to perform inversions, restraints had to meet ASTM Class 5 standards, which until fairly recently, only over-the-shoulder restraints could meet. However, many companies nowadays have developed lap bar restraints capable of inverting. Among these are the hybrid coasters produced by RMC and many of Mock Rides and Intamin's new launch coasters. The future looks bright for restraint systems, with Mauer Rides designing a system that reaches class 5 standards with only a seat belt. So we know that restraints are keeping us safe from falling out of the coaster, but what about collisions? Are there systems to prevent those? Yes there are. Let's talk about block zones. A roller coaster's layout is split into block zones by sections of block brakes. Block brakes are a special type of brake that is connected to the ride's central computer system. 
When a train passes over a row of block breaks, the computer system makes sure that there are no trains on the next row of block breaks. If the block zones are clear, the train will be allowed to continue through the layout. However, if the next block zone is occupied, the block breaks will stop the train and wait for the block zones to clear before releasing. Ride manufacturers design ride layouts so that when a train is stopped on a block zone and released, the train will be able to proceed through the layout. Block brakes are most commonly found in the station, on the final brake run, on mid-course brake runs, and at the top of lift hills. Block zones allow coasters to safely run more than one train without risk of collision. So, you might ask, if these things are so safe, then why do accidents happen? Like anything else, there are thousands of roller coasters in the world, and so there are bound to have some freak accidents. However, statistically, roller coasters are much safer than your drive to the amusement park. In fact, driving 50 miles has a more than a thousand times chance of being injured than riding one roller coaster. This is because roller coasters only injure one in every 15 and a half million people who ride it. In fact, most injuries that happen on roller coasters are due to user er error rather than error of design. A lot of people get injured when they try to stand up on roller coasters or record themselves on roller coasters without a secure method and other things like that that aren't good ideas. Because of these statistics and these safety systems, you can rest easy knowing that you are safe the next time you go to an amusement park. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as that helps me out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video for great coaster content just like this, and make sure to leave a comment what you learned from this video and your opinion on these roller coaster safety systems. Also, these three people placed in the top three in my planet coaster competition, so you should go subscribe to them. Links in the description. As always, thanks for watching. ZZ Coasters, signing off.